Alright guys, it is raining once again over here in Georgia. This is like Stockbridge, Georgia, which is, I guess, the south of Atlanta. We are going to have a weekday adventure. The kids are out of school this whole week, guys. Nathan has not been able to ride his dirt bike because it's been raining every single day since uh, Saturday. The races are returned to Durham Town. Yeah. Or did you get on like, and ride it? No, I haven't because it's been raining and yeah. I, I don't... Also, I've been telling him to like get on his bicycle. He has a nice BMX like Trek um, racing bike. Yeah, we got on yesterday and drove for like hours. So it helps him with his balance and coordination, and also endurance. So that's a good way to practice when you can't get on your dirt bikes is get on your bicycles and ride around. But today's video is going to be us getting drew a new motorcycle guys because she wants to start dirt bike riding you excited drew i want to start dirt bike riding too and then layla wants to start dirt bike riding too so we're going to pick up a yamaha ttr 50e for the girls to practice on and ride with us wherever we go dirt bike riding that's what i said in half a mile continue straight onto Snapfinger road all right you guys got that everybody yep. got that you got that, Drew? Yep. So, what do you think about getting a dirt bike, Drew? Really? Nice. I'm excited for you. So, do you think you'll be able to ride it? Drew, you might fall, so that's why you need some backup. Yeah, but she's going to have gear on, so... Yeah, it's not going to hurt. That thing has a speed limiter also, so you can adjust that down to where if she does take off, she won't be full speed. No idea how fast it goes. I've never had one, but I am excited also because we've never had a Yamaha. This will be the first Yamaha dirt bike. Actually, I have had a Yamaha. I had a uh, FC 1000, and it was a very good motorcycle. But that's a street bike. That's we're talking about dirt bikes. So we're, we're going to break into the Yamaha dirt bike family with the little TTR 50 guys for Drew, and she's excited. And it's going to be Layla's too. She's going to learn on it. Uh, by the way, guys, Layla's Polaris Outlaw 110. Um, it was slipping. It seemed like it was broken, which it is broken because Nathan was like dogging it out on the trails and stuff. And Nathan and Addison was too, I guess. I think what the problem with it is, is that the chain tensioner spring was broken. So there's no, it's not tight on the chain. And I think that chain was slipping off of it. So it felt like the the differential gears were cracked. But anyways, the part's like three bucks on Partzilla. And I'm gonna order that and fix it. Hopefully that fixes it. If not, I'm gonna have to tear into the uh, differential and, and replace all those gears. All right, so stick with us. Let's go pick this bike up. Let's see how this thing rides. I don't know if we're gonna be able to ride it a lot tonight, but we'll try. And um, it's gotta be fun. Let's do this. You guys ready? Yeah! Oh no, guys. They said there's heavy traffic out here tonight, guys. So not only are we going to pick up a dirt bike for Drew, but we're having an adventure with all the kids. There's Layla, she's having a fun time. The kids are have been out of school this whole week, so they were kind of happy to come with me to go pick up the motorcycle or the dirt bike. Is this right? And uh, Nathan installed Google Maps on his phone, so he's going to be the co-pilot tonight, guys, and he's going to direct us in this bad rush hour, rainy Atlanta night, the adventure to try to find Drew's Yamaha TTR. 50e dirt bike. This is gonna be exciting. You think we'll make it, guys? Yes. Will we make it? Yes. I don't know. Let's go find out, and uh, hopefully this thing runs. Oh, by the way, guys, they said that um, they're gonna throw in a throw in a helmet and all the gear that goes with it. So this is gonna be exciting. But look at that Hummer. You guys like Hummers? Sure. Just post in the comments. I don't like how small the windows are for a huge car like that. I sat in one, and. Um, my arm it was so tight it felt like it was the windows were too small for how big that vehicle is but the outside does look kind of cool all right you ready drew let's go get it you ready it says there's traffic right i'm ready too i'm ready too layla says she's ready but it looks like she's ready to go night night time what have you guys been doing all day 
Over where? In our yard? Nanas. Oh, Nanas? Yeah. Cool. Look at how miserable it is outside, guys. Rainy. I was also playing pool. Speed limits are four to five. This is Atlanta for you guys. There's Marta. That's a natural gas bus right there. The tank's on the top. Get on the highway. Let's go. That is the highway. Look at this, guys. It's raining again. I cannot believe it. Just kidding. It always rains. Dad. Layla just said she saw lightning. What? I just saw this go on and off. I know. I hit it on accident twice. Oh. Just keeps raining harder and harder, guys. There's like a bunch of lightning, too. I, I thought I asked my wife if it was going to rain. She didn't say there was like thunderstorms and hailstorms all up and down Atlanta, but uh, I guess she just forgot. Seems like it's kind of slowing down a little bit on the rain. Layla is, uh, she's dreaming about dirt bikes and riding. Look at her. So, oh, you saw the lightning? This is the adventure of a lifetime going to get the dirt bike in the hailstorm. You were cruising like that Especially on a motorcycle because you're like in the wind. Does it feel, does it feel fast? Does it feel fast when you're on a dirt bike going fast? No, nope. I mean it feels fast, but it doesn't feel like I'm gonna get sick. Yeah, yeah. Not oh, even, yeah. not even on the jumps, like the doubles. Does it feel like you're gonna get sick on the, um, the motorcycle when you went full? No, I just felt like, oh no, did the, the uh, tires fall off this thing? I'm going like 180 miles an hour down the road. And uh, there's a turn coming up, so let me slow down. I hope Drew can learn how to ride this thing, and I hope it stops raining. Check how do you feel, the Drew? Right. Are you network. excited? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you're thinking about. Um, yeah? And, um, I might go full speed. Full speed? But we're gonna have to take it slow because you're gonna have to learn how to shift gears it is a um, semi-automatic, so it's a three-speed. There's no clutch, but you still have to shift with your foot. So that's going to be, you know, it's going to take a little bit to get used to because she's not even really used to riding a bicycle yet. How do you think this is going to work out, Nathan? I think it'll work out good. Yeah. She might wreck a couple times at first, but she'll probably get used to it. After yeah, that. all she has to do is learn how to... Uh, press the brake, well, press the gas, then press the brake, and then put your feet down, and that's it. Because if she lets off the gas, it's not going to go anymore. You know what I mean? Like yours, if you don't press the clutch, it's going to stall out. Then you got to kick start it. Oh, yeah, you have to hold the clutch down. You're right. You have to, when you stop, you have to hold the clutch down. Unless you put it in neutral, then you can stop like that. But you, if you're in gear and you stop without holding the clutch, it's going to stall out. You need to learn how to, how to get your gearing right. And you need to go, what Nathan's doing wrong is he's not giving enough gas in the corners and he needs to be throttling out as, as long as he can. And if he's slipping out, let off a little bit, but keep that gas on in the in the turns. Don't just coast around. You got a freaking gas. You got to be ripping dirt throughout the entire turn. Go into the turn hard, deep in on the seat, leg out, be ready to, to get into that gas in the turn and gas out of that thing. You want to be full speed as much as you can. You got it, Nate Dog? Yep. Are you going to do that next time? All right. But That's the only way you're going to so, win. No, That's the only way you're going to win. Oh. And get your whole shot. You have to get your whole shot. If you if you get six or seventh on a whole shot, you don't have a chance of winning. How you doing? Unless you're a, an awesome rider. So keep thinking about that, Drew. Just say whole shot, okay? And say this too, gas in the turns, full speed. You'll get it, you'll get it. I think, I think she's going to become a good rider. Seems like the rain's kind of slowing down some guys. But traffic's picking up now. Oh no, guys. 
six. But anyways, guys, my idea for a trailer is this. I want to get a trailer so we can, like, go to the races and everything and just, like, have a nice setup, have, like, coolers. We'll have a fan set up, maybe a generator for uh, different things, nice radio. That way, Natalie can be comfortable with the baby and everybody can have a spot to come rest and chill out and that way we can have all the bikes and everything loaded up in the trailer that way we can go everywhere we should get so. like uh, we, we should like sell like design trails and it says lover boy and stuff like what do you guys think about this idea so on the side of our trailer it's going to say 50 gigawatts on the side then i'm going to have a silhouette of like nathan or jumping a double and then uh with like a sunset in the background and then uh, lover boy underneath you know and maybe like youtube on the bottom i was thinking like a big decal on the side on each side of the trailer so if you guys like that idea just post in the comments what do you think about the idea drew you think mom would like to come with us if we did that had her a nice chair and, and like a fan you mean one of the but the baby the baby is the problem Yeah, we can use one of those, but I want to get her a nice chair so she's comfortable with the baby. Look at that. Look at the condos, guys. How would you like to live up there? Those are like penthouses. Wow. That's nice. I bet that's expensive to live up there. Look at the traffic, guys. Oh, gosh. All right. Wish us luck. Welcome to Atlanta traffic, guys. There it is. This is going north, too. Atlanta traffic don't come here during rush hour and also if it's raining all right guys we've made it to roswell that's where we had to go to get the dirt bike i have to go to this bank of america over here and get the cash out he accidentally missed it. and i missed the turn but um i'll figure it out we're over here in roswell we've never been here before it seems like a pretty nice place besides uh there's people like walking in the rain in the middle of the night looks like he might be up to no good no he's probably just cold and like man this sucks walking in the rain all right we're gonna get the cash did you see the lightning layla's awake now we're gonna get some money and uh try to find this place show us on the maps where it's at there's no maps but this is, is that's it won't let me get not it won't let me get a thousand dollars i have to get less so i gotta get 500 maybe <laughs> will it only let me get 500 we're gonna get this cash real quick and then we're gonna head over there and, and see if we can get the bike. Let's Look. count this first. 20, 85, that's right. All right, Dad, Drew. Dad, that five's not enough. I know, I gotta get another. Hopefully it'll let me get do it again. Let's try it again. Hey guys, it's gonna let us get it. Give me some. Let's count this now. Let's count this. 20. 85. Here, you hold that. No. Don't lose that money, Drew. All right, let's go. Don't lose that money, Drew. Guys, uh, raise money. your hand. Raise your hand if you want to go to Scrub and Dirt. Guys, those pink, those pink on them. She's just raise like, your hand if money. you want to go to Durham Town. Guys, those pink on the money. You want to go Durham Town or Scrub and Dirt, Drew? Me too. I want to go to Scrub. But we called Durham Town too. We did. Uh, post in the comments. Where do you want us to go next? Scrub and Dirt or Durham Town? I don't want to go to. I don't like Scrub and Dirt. They're gonna let us know. All right. So Layla's saying on the show them the bill. The on the on, in 2020, the twenty dollar bill is gonna have a girl on there. Is that true, guys? Just post in the comments but if that's true it. or not. But think about it, guys. What if you had a million dollars in saving up and then you, they changed to a whole new dollar? It would still be good. Both of them would be good. Let me see the map. Hold it still so I could see it. How many more minutes left, Nathan? Um, ten. Hey, so is that a good bike for Drew? What do you guys think? Just post in the comments. Are we making the right choice or should we, we got Drew something else? Just let us know in the comments. Uh -huh. All right, well, the guy just told me we're like literally, what, three minutes from his house? Five. Five minutes from his house, he calls me and said, sorry, just sold. So they just sold the bike. So we drove like an hour and 45 minutes for no reason at all. Anyways, Dad, that really sucks. We can, we can go to a different place. Yeah. You can try to go to a different place. I don't know where to go. It's like 7 o'clock at night. What about um, that place that we 
He could have told us. He's a jerk. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's that's frustrating. We'll figure something out. How do you guys feel about that? That's what is the chances, though? To me, it's we those, drove an hour forty-five like, minutes. I'm five. literally five minutes away from his house, and he calls and says they sold it. He wait, just wait, sold wait. it. Stores are dirt bike stores are closed. I'll see if we can find something else online, guys. All right, guys. So we made a phone call, and um, this other guy had a bike for sale. It was a 2006, he said, but he wanted uh, 900 dollars for no, it, right? It was a two, yeah, 2006 TTR 50, which they're all the same thing. It had training wheels and a helmet, goggles, and pants. 900 bucks. Uh, I was like, I'll come get it right. He said, Oh, I'm not going to be in town until Saturday. So I looked back online. I found one over in Marietta, and he'll take eight. It's a 2014. He'll take 850 bucks, so it's a hundred dollars less. It's like two years older, but it comes with training wheels and a helmet, and I save like a hundred bucks. So, Tell them something. yeah, my dad's gonna take off the training wheels. Yeah, but at first you dad. can have the training wheels on, right? Daddy, no. Uh, how yes, long will. is it gonna be? Fall off. I don't know, like 30 minutes. Okay. Your haircut looks real pretty, by the way. She got her haircut, what guys. About, you. Do you like all blue and all here and stuff? Oh yeah, purple. Hopefully we won't get like two minutes from his house and him call and say, hey, uh, it's sold already. So we're still on the adventure to get the TTR 50 guys, but this one has an FMF pipe guys. The other one didn't have that. So this is cool. On the adventure of a lifetime to get the dirt bike for Drew. Woo we thought everything was lost. But now we're on our way to Marietta to a whole new place. And we're going to find it, guys. We're going to get this bike no matter what. And guess what? When we're two minutes from the place, someone's already going to get it. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get like two minutes from there and we're going to get a, like a text. Ah, I just sold it, man. I'm sorry. And then we're going to try again. It's going to be like 10 o'clock at night and we're going to be calling strangers about, do you have a TTR 50 dirt bike for sale or anything? Just post in the comments what you guys would do if you had to drive an hour and 45 minutes away and then right five minutes away from the guy's house he calls and says sorry i just sold it how would you feel inside all right are you back excited again drew yes are you excited again layla yeah. all right let's do this guys all right guys so we stopped on our way to get the dirt bike at wendy's because the kids were really hungry it's still raining we're on our way to marietta how many minutes do we have left, Nathan? 16. 16 minutes, guys, till we get there. And uh, got frosty, spicy chicken sandwiches, french fries, and chicken nuggets. That was, was, that, was that enough food, Drew? Yes. This was hold this over. Food. Let's go get it. Where are we at, Nathan? How far away do we have? Five minutes. Copilot. Eight or nine. Daddy, yes, Layla. What if he texts right now, right now, and he says, oh, sorry, we sold it. Man, it would be like meant to be for sure. That we, <laughs> it would be like meant to be that we were not supposed to get a motorcycle no matter what. Four minutes. Somewhere out there is his house with the TTR50. Yeah, it's a good day to be alive. Wow. Wow. These have a lot of stuff. Nice. So do you ride these? I ride them. You ride dirt bikes? Yeah. Cool, man. Where do you go to ride? Look at this, guys. So he's... Down, he's, he's we, go to we just came from... He just raced at Durham Town this weekend. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who is that? Are you... These are your these kids? These one is for my son. Okay. He used to ride the Little 50. Man, he's he's loaded out, man. Golly. You got yeah. the big wheel kid that's on that's there. That's wow. Like that's cool, man. And that's the, uh, is that a 450 or? That's you. That's what you ride? That's awesome. I got a four. It's 110. So my son went from that 15 to 110. But he's on his typical. Oh, yeah. So this is would be Drew's bike right here, guys. Look at this. So it has, you put an FMF pipe on it? Yeah. That's a stock pipe right here. Oh, okay. And the training wheel. So I'm going to ride it. So it's electric start, the battery's good and everything on yeah, it? Yeah, I just started a few minutes ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we put some oil on it. Look. What? Yeah, he got the training wheels off. That's 
Go, Drew, get on it. Boy, she can't write it now, man. No, she, I'll have to. T- I'll have to show her. She doesn't need to be writing that. I know. She doesn't even know. She doesn't even know how to ride a bicycle, man. Yes, I do. No, it's just bent a little bit. That'll happen. So everything okay. runs good, huh? Everything works good, man. Drew, get on it. Yeah. It's clean, too. It is. So he didn't ride it much. He just he got on much. there. Yeah, he used to have a four-wheeler. And not by him. This one in. I, I, had a, I have a four-wheeler. My brother broke it. Look at his Harley, guys. My God, look at that. Man, that's a nice bike. What kind of bike is that? That's a Harley Davidson Rolls Are they really? That thing's sweet right there. Are they better than you? No. <laughs> There's Layla. <laughs> so that's the guy. He's gonna say, "What's your name?" You're gonna, Carlos. huh? Carlos. Carlos. Okay, cool, man. Do you know Carlos Vigera? No. No, he's he he lives in uh, Conyers. I work with him. He he rides. He's got a Harley. So. All right, Nathan. We got this thing in the back. It's raining a little bit, but it's not bad. We got it loaded up. Just hasn't been rode in a long time. I think it needs to be tuned up. Yeah, Everything will be cool. good. There's the pipe. What game is this? He got an FMF pipe. Oh, nice. That's cool. Sure. He's got an FMF pipe on it on the side. That thing's awesome. So we'll get it home and get the battery charged. And that'll be cool. All right, let's do it, guys. We got the bike. It's in the back. Yeah. It's, it's not like the best night to get a dirt bike, but um, at least we got it. Drew dropped the bike over um, while she was testing, like sitting on it or whatever, testing it out, and it flooded the carburetor, so it didn't crank up, and then we killed the battery. So I got to charge the battery again, but it did crank up. We'll lube the chain up, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll we might have to put the training wheels on for Drew, but we don't know. He, I guess he got it at Cycle Nation, guys. There's all the title, and too, look at this cool helmet that he gave us. That thing's I cool. I wanted a skull helmet for some reason. There it is. How do you feel, Drew? Good. All right. Oh, and guys, when I fell off that bike, it didn't even fly. Good. Did it fall on your leg? Yep. All right. If you want to see the instructions, you can take anything you'll put in and do the next page. Over. All right. Good job. Keep reading the instruction manual. <laughs> Good job. Keep reading. I'm interested. Hold on. Do the dirt bike when the helmet's on. You can never forget a helmet. You'll fall off the bike. You heard it from Drew. She read it out of the owner's manual. Never forget your helmet or what was that again? Never forget. Never. Don't wear your helmet. You'll fall off the bike. (laughs) All right. Good job. All right, there you have it, guys. So we're going to read the owner's manual on the way home, and hopefully we make it home safe. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Do you think that was a good buy for for uh, Drew? Was that a good idea for us to get her the TTR 50? Um, anyways, no matter what, it's going to be fun, and she's going to learn how to ride a dirt bike, guys. So Love you. Later. Love you. Say bye, Drew. Peace. All right, guys, there it is. We got it home. We made it in one piece. And this is the uh, TTR FMF pipe on there, the PowerCore 4. And this thing sounds good, guys. Seriously, okay. Sit on it. Crank that thing up. We're going to show you how to crank it up. All right, so she's going to get on, guys. She's going to get on. Put your leg over. Okay, see the key right here? There's a key right there, guys. Turn to the right, to the right. Remember? No, that's left, right. Okay, it was already on. Now turn this, flip this down, flip it down. There you go. Now press that gray button over there. Come on, Drew. There you go. It's good. It's good. It's it's running. Rip Give it down. a little gas. There you go. Okay. Don't go. Now just imagine in your brain. No, no, no. If you want to turn it off, turn this switch right there. There you go. See, it turns it off. Okay, turn the key back off. To the left, that's off. Okay, good job. Okay, good job. Now, Drew, one more time, all by yourself. Come on. You're not gonna go anywhere. Okay, turn the key. No, first turn the key. To the right. Switch? Yep. Hold it. There you go. There you go. There you go.
let's hear that thing go all the way. Nice. That thing's fast, guys. It has drum brakes on the front, so, uh, anyways, it has a PowerCore 4 FMF pipe. You like it? Let's see what that thing will do, guys. Next stop what is going to teach smoke? Drew how to ride the dirt bike, so, uh, anyways, what do you guys rate it from 1 to 10? Just uh, let us know in the comments. I rated it 100. Before we end the video, can I go get everybody and show it to them? Sure. FMF pipe on it. That's cool. Hey, Liv, what do you think? You like it? Can I try it all by myself? You like it? Yeah, let's see if Drew just had to do it all by herself one more time. Liv's like scared. My feet are frozen. All right, here she goes. No, no, no. Turn the key on first. There you go. Press that on. Now, just a little bit. All right, Nathan's going to go for a little ride on this thing. This this uh, Yamaha TTR FJ series with the FMF pipe, Shorty 4. Look at this thing, guys. And I weigh like 140, so. Yeah, this thing has power, guys. Look at this thing. A little three-speed, guys. I think Drew's gonna like it. We gotta get her used to it. Is that third gear? Put it back at first. Did you see that lightning up there? Yeah, we gotta get inside. All right, how do you like your bike from one to 10? Uh, 18. All right, we're gonna teach you how to ride it, okay? Oh, no, That's the next step. So we can all go to Durham Town and different uh, dirt bike tracks together. All right, give me five. Love you. Love you. Honda, Suzuki, KTM. Yamaha, Husky. Come on, tell a friend. In that cow. The cow sounded in the air when you're riding those bikes. Don't help me steal. Nice. Can't beat this life. Nice good going on. Riding dirt bikes. Let's come on. Bobbing your head you. while I sing this song. <laughs> Pop a fork. I mean, snap a fork. <laughs> Pop a clutch. <laughs> Look at them girls, you know they got the touch. And then you know how it sounded in the air when you had those bikes hit half the steel. Woo hoo! <laughs> nice! What is it? What are you the Alright, what do you got to say to everybody? Um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my daddy's channel and go to his channel. Alright. Rainbow Wolf Squad. What do you think about Drew's new bike? Um, it, it has some power, yeah. And plus, when Drew, Drew's like 40 or 50 pounds. Oh, it's to gonna fly. fly. And you need to bend that, that gear shifter down. Yeah, the shifter. The I shifter's bent, but we'll fix it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That was exciting. We actually <laughs> ended up buying another bike, even though the first bike that we went to get was sold, sold like five minutes before we got there. Then we called another place and he said he had a bike, but we were gonna go get it. But he said, oh, I'm not gonna be in town till Saturday. Looked up and found another bike and ended up getting it, driving another 35 minutes to get that bike. So that was a adventurous night in the rain through Atlanta, through streets we've never been to before. And there's the old lady, she was waiting for us the whole time. Love you, baby. Bye.